Hi, this is Kate from Minute Earth with, uh, hands. Anyway, when I want to write, flip a pancake, or take adorable hyena pictures, like most people, I use my right hand. Because despite being a near mirror image of my right, my left hand is terrible at this stuff. Lots of other animals also have a so-called preferred side. Gorillas generally use their right hand for tasks requiring dexterity, while orangutans use their left. Many parrots hold seeds with their left foot, and Brazilian spitting spiders tend to favor their left forelegs while hunting. And sure, it's weird that some animals prefer their left and some their right, but what's even weirder is why we have a preferred side at all. Perhaps a handier way to think about it is if having one good side is good, why don't we have two? It likely comes down to efficiency. Most animals have brains with two largely independent sides that perform somewhat different functions and control different, and weirdly, opposite sides of our bodies. Like when I write my name, neurons in the left side of my brain send electrical signals to neurons in my right hand to tell it what to do. But building and operating that neural circuit takes a lot of time and a lot of energy. And training that limb to write decently takes even more. To write decently with my left hand, because of the quirky two-sidedness of our brains, I'd need an entirely different circuit, which would take a ton more time and energy to build, operate, and train. Instead, it's much more efficient to rely on a single circuit for writing. What's more, the more I use that circuit, the more I reinforce the neural connections from the brain to my right hand, making that hand even, well, handier. And the more likely I am to use it for other jobs. Voila, handedness. This efficiency explanation is still somewhat theoretical, but evidence from all sorts of animals shows that having a preferred side can provide an advantage. When scientists gave a food-finding test to parrots, some of whom had a strong side preference and some didn't, the strongly-sided birds did twice as well. What's more, when the task got harder and the birds had to use a series of coordinated motions to get a snack hanging from a string, the strongly-sided birds were way better at figuring out a clever solution. And look, during this more complicated task, the unpreferred side had something important to do too. Just like how my left hand holds and steadies the paper when I'm writing, or the camera when I'm snapping a picture. These jobs are often, literally, supporting roles, but they too require circuitry to perform and training to perform well. So maybe our so-called weaker side isn't actually weak at all. It's just optimized for different jobs. Without it, we wouldn't be able to hammer in a nail, play the guitar, catch and throw a baseball, perform heart surgery, or deftly wield a sword and shield. Of course, there's that question of why I, along with most humans, would swing a sword with my right hand, while far fewer would choose their left. But that's a question for another video, as this one is already out of hand. <laughs>